the past three years when I've been in the choir, it's like we always start the year kind of like a little iffy and it's like, oh, we're re really going to be as good as last year and somehow it always comes together. So just the way that we match with each other and we like know each other and trust each other is just special. Well, obviously we've all grown in height. Well, we've all grown in height, yes, but, and I know a lot of us have probably answered this question as in like we've grown as a family and everything. And we have, we honestly have come so far and I honestly feel like I can trust my fellow chamber singers with anything, any problem that I have. But we've also grown in the maturity of our sound and our tuning and rhythmic accuracy, everything to do with choral music. We've grown in, like we've made it more sophisticated and we've grown in that aspect. Um, I think my favorite piece that we've done so far this year has definitely been Sweet Rivers. Personally, I really like uh, Lunar Lullaby. Probably Sweet Rivers, just because that's the piece where our whole choir really comes alive. By far, Sweet Rivers. Probably gonna have to be Sweet Rivers. For me, that's a no-brainer, honestly. It's Sweet Rivers by Sean Kirchner. I think one of my favorites is definitely Dawn, because there's not a time that we sing it where I don't get chills. It often takes time to fall in love with a piece of music. But even more than just falling in love with a piece of music, it takes time to know a piece of music, to live inside of it, and to continually pull the layers off of it, and to discover more and more about the connection of parts, of text, of pattern, of all the ins and outs that go into a composition. Uh, a bunch of this stuff is really cool, going to concerts, Bobby McFerrin, that kind of stuff. But really for me, it's, it's going to be the concert. We've worked really, really hard for, for all of it, so I just, I'm really like anxious to see it pulled off in the end. Ooh, I don't know. It's just going to be amazing to be traveling with this group of people. Like, they're, they're so cool. They're so fun to be around because they're such interesting people, all with such different goals and ambitions, but all brought together by music. So I think just like being somewhere that's so vibrant and getting to experience this amazing um, like performance is going to be so cool with this bunch of people. Um, I guess just like spending more time together. We're going to be listening to a lot of other great choirs as well, so that's going to be exciting to just hear what um, other people are doing like around New England. Hey Chamber Singers, congrats on your spot in the ACDA conference. Good luck with your performance guys, we know you're going to kill it. Hi from Iowa! I know you guys have been working so hard for your ACDA performance, but you guys are going to absolutely kill it. Good luck! Hey Yo Smith Chamber, just wanted to wish you guys luck at ACDA this week. You're going to kill it. Hi Chamber Singers! Congratulations on your ACDA performance. You guys are going to do so, so well. I'm so proud of you, and I just want to wish you good luck. Hey, EO Smith Chamber Singers. It's Michelle Jensen here from Azusa Pacific University, and I just want to tell you how proud I am of you guys for making it to ACDA Eastern Division. It's my understanding that you are the only choir from your state to have been selected for this huge honor. And I am so proud of you. I am so excited to have been able to work with you in the fall, and I can't wait to hear the recordings. Um, I do have a surprise for you. Somebody else wants to say hi. Hi, guys. It's Steven Schmidt from Dawn, the composer. Yay. It, it is such an honor that you guys would lend your voices and your talent, your energy, your time to um, a piece that I had a part to play in. And a part to play in, you're the composer. It's a small part. It's just a small part, but um, it means nothing uh, without people like you. So thank you so much. Um, and I wish you guys the very best in your performance. And I can't wait to hear everything that you Congratulations, do. you guys. We love you. Much love. I love connecting and creating music with other kids who are equally as inspired um, and creative as I am with music and there's just something about that that is so powerful and emotional and vulnerable. But I think that, that we've mainly grown as a community more than as a choir because every year has always been consistently good thanks to Miss Hanslick, really. 
Hi there, my name is Rob Dietz. I'm a composer and arranger, and I just want to say congratulations to the EO Smith Chamber Singers on their upcoming performance at the ACDA Regional Conference. I'm so excited for you guys. These events are so great, and they're such a great way for people in the choral community to see the best choral music that's happening uh, in schools across America. So I hope you guys have a great time. I'm so honored that you're performing one of my pieces at the conference. I really can't wait to hear it. Um, it's going to be great, and again, I just hope you have a really wonderful time. Uh, these events are so great, and they're so important. So uh, have an awesome time. For me personally, and I really hope that this is the way my students feel, but for me personally, it is a place where I feel like I'm healed. I feel like I stand, I feel like I stand in front of them and they sing and just the vibration of their voices, the vibration of those patterns, they, they heal me. Yeah. And you can, you can put this in there, that's okay. They, the sound of their voices heals me every day. I, I get to live inside of that sound every single day. And I pull into my spot at EO Smith High School and I feel blessed every day. I feel lucky every day because I get to be with them. And you know, everybody, everybody struggles. Everybody has hurt, everybody has joy. And I get to experience those things with these students. Sometimes they easily give it up. Sometimes they keep it inside. But I, I consciously try to choose repertoire, to choose art, where they can dive into all of those aspects of themselves as a group. Good morning, EO Smith Chamber Singers. Um, Dr. Jamie Spillane here. I just wanted to send a quick, uh, quick note uh, to one, congratulate you on being selected for the great honor of performing at the Eastern Division ACDA Conference in Rochester. But also uh, two notes of, of clarity. Uh, when I was a high school teacher, my own choir was selected uh, to perform at the Baltimore Eastern Division. And it was a highlight, not only of my students' life, but of mine as well. And also, I will be in that audience at the Downtown University Presbyterian Church in Rochester, which is this incredible space. And I know we are in for a treat. Your singing is wonderful. The uh, people in the audience, all these choir directors are gonna understand the work it took and the ability that you have to create something truly beautiful. So please, I hope you treasure this time just as much as I did mine and my students did as well. Have a great time and I can't wait to see you. So this senior class is the biggest group that I have ever had of people who are graduating seniors who are going on into the performing arts. I'm just so excited. I am so excited to see what kinds of artists they become. I just am so proud of all of them. And it's so exciting to, to think about how they will impact the world through their art. It's, it's really, really exciting. And e you know, even, even the people who, the, the members of the group who go on into the world, and they're not professionally artists, but they're still, they're still artists in the world. Right, like what I talked about before, about taking that art with them and stepping into the world, the life, there's a life after high school, shocking but true, right? Uh, that they, that they all, uh, they're, they're all different and special because of their engagement with music and with art. They're different than the rest of the world.
They just are. <laughs> art, art changes people. So Caden, I told the camera that I never wanted to be a choir director. Really? Yes. <laughs> what did you I wanted to be on Broadway. I'll give you, I'll give you an example. Oh, no I won't. I just lost my earring. Hold on. This famous videographer, Caden Cobb. Videography is Caden's passion. What's this movie called? Chamber Choir. You guys are going. Go, go, go. Be good on the bus. Be good in the hotel. Or Miss Nigerian and I will hunt you down.